Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, today we have an update in the whole Red Hat fiasco with Alma Linux releasing a new direction. Now, I saw some references to this going back almost 10 days ago, uh, but we finally got some more information coming out in an Ars Technica article. So let's go ahead and talk about what they are doing and what this means and uh, what this means for the direction of the project itself. So of course, to bring you up to speed, Alma Linux is one of the two Linux distributions that came up in response to CentOS becoming CentOS Stream. So you have a series of distributions all surrounding Red Hat or or uh, it's R-H-E-L is what you'll often see, the abbreviated Red Hat Enterprise Linux, which is utilized as a mostly an open source program that you buy the access to the support is usually what you're doing. Of course, they were purchased by IBM a few years back and there was a lot of speculation this would cause a big shakeup because a lot of infrastructure Structure runs on Red Hat, and there have been for a long time one for one, bug for bug compatible uh, operating systems which could be used if somebody says, Well, I do not need support, I just need the program itself. And this is what a lot of the internet is run off of, which does actually keep costs low for business. Because if I do not have to be paying for a license for a service contract that I do not need because I have the technical skill to handle any issues that arise, why do I need to do that in a world where free and open source applications are around? However, just dumping lots of money, and I forget what the number was, it was in the millions or the billions of dollars that IBM puts into purchasing Red Hat, uh, nobody thought that everything would stay status quo. They weren't doing this out of the goodness of their heart. They are going to use it to extract as much profit as they possibly can. And they're a business you can't really blame them. However, in response to all this, uh, there is, of course, let's go through the basics. We have Fedora, which is basically a testing ground for the things to become into uh, Red Hat. So things are tested over there, run for a few months with stability before rolling into there. And then from that point in time, you used to have the CentOS, which would be the exact code that goes CentOS, which you could grab as the distro and run it on your server without support. Or you'd get that package with a few specific tools for their uh, for their licensing support would become the Red Hat. And then from there, you would get a few other things coming downstream off of those as well if you needed something similar to those. But what they did is they killed the CentOS, putting it instead above Red Hat so that the CentOS stream now sits above Red Hat instead of sitting parallel or even slightly below so that if you pull from the CentOS stream, you're not necessarily getting the same code. But you could still get the CentOS code, it just wasn't being packaged. And companies like or distros like Rocky Linux and Alma Linux jumped up to replace the loss of CentOS because CentOS Stream and Red Hat are different enough that you don't want to attempt to use CentOS Stream, which is more of a staging ground and a testing ground than it is a long-term support distribution when you're running a server infrastructure. And so it caused a lot of problems, but as we talked about long time back then, when you have the these conflicts coming in, now new Linux distributions are going to come up to fill their place, and that's where we got Rocky Linux and Alma Linux. Also, as a little side note, since most of your uh, most of your web hosting servers were, were running on CentOS, and cPanel, the most popular application for running on those, was only supported by CentOS. As soon as this happened, cPanel took an alternate direction to be able to support Ubuntu, Rocky, Alma. Red Hat still can support, and a few other ones in there as well. I haven't checked the status on if it's actually fully supported on Ubuntu or the other ones, although I know it is fully supported on Alma and Rocky Linux. However, because cPanel has its own issues, I'm trying to move away from them if I can. Uh, that will be a video for another day. But back to this, what happened is two of those distros comes up. That is Rocky Linux, which we've talked about. They have really been staying more ahead and doing press releases much faster and raising awareness of the issue. And they are committed to being a bug for bug compatible. But Alma Linux is going to take a slightly different direction. So from Ars Technica, Alma Linux says Red Hat 
uh, source changes won't kill Red Hat compatibility distro, uh, but Red Hat made being a one-to-one -one clone hard. So Analytics is pivoting and speeding up. So the difference here is going to let rest on two different definitions. One of those is the one-to-one -one clone or the bug-for-bug -bug compatibility. And if, I think I wasn't able to completely confirm. I believe this is going to be the same thing as your source code compatible. Now, that would mean that if there is a bug in the system in Red Hat, it will appear in Rocky. And it would appear in Alma up to this point in time. However, the direction Alma is going to take from here is not to be a one-to-one -one bug compatible, which Red Hat is making hard to do. Although possible, Rocky Linux is still committed to doing that. What Alma is going to do is pivot its directions to be a binary code compatible. So binary code compatible means anything that runs on Red Hat will also run on Alma. So this carries with it a few distinct differences. And the article gets into some of those, but we'll talk about a few more here as we go through. So uh, when asked about the, the introductions, just, you know, how would you explain this change at a barbecue? <laughs> who, who wants to talk Linux stuff at a barbecue? Us geeks, of course. Uh, so we'll let you uh, figure out how to do that. Uh, but we're going to get down into here what they're actually going to do. Alma Linux OS until recently aimed to be a one for one or bug for bug compatible replication of Red Hat. Uh, when they announced that the source code would only be available in CentOS Stream, the rolling preview of Red Hat, it made creating a one-to-one -one rebuild far more tricky. Rocky Linux, founded by one of the original CentOS founders, has said he intends to keep providing a bug-for-bug -bug rebuild uh, through some elaborate means. Alma Linux, after waiting out the initial confusion and surveying its customers and supporters, is going a different route. Alma Linux will be a binary compatible or an ABI compatible, meaning applications that will run on Red Hat will run on Alma Linux freed from the complete parity with Red Hat. Means Alma Linux can accept bug fixes outside of Red Hat release cycle. It can include comments and patches that point to sources and authors. It can decide its own priorities and it can, can continue contributing upstream to CentOS stream Fedora, and Linux as a whole. Now, as of note, Rocky Linux also always supports uh, and contributes upstream to Fedora and upstream to CentOS Stream. So the bug fixes are getting pushed up there. They're getting pushed up the same way. Alma gets a chance to experiment with different bug fixes and submit those as a proposed patch instead. Now, what this is going to mean is it's going to be a little bit of a divergence from the code. This can be a good thing it can be a bad thing. If there is a well-known vulnerability or maybe a, a well-discovered vulnerability that could be exploited, but Alma Linux might have patched by going in a different direction, Alma Linux may not be as susceptible to that bug. However, uh, if it's running as a binary compatible, it probably is. So what we see here is that there's a slight divergence. What my biggest concern is that the code eventually could evolve outside the compatibility factor and maybe that bug is contributing to some known function albeit unknown to you and i've seen that happen before where you have a random bug that yeah is certainly a problem but the bug acts by fixing a problem that otherwise would have and so that is in one case a bad thing but in another case it is a good thing in that they can experiment with new differences or such things like that so let's go ahead and look further. Uh, now we can do stuff. Uh, Vasky says, this is the director of the Alma project. It's exactly what we've been feeling to us. We've been using this one-to-one -one compatibility as our North Star. So every decision we made about what we're, we have been doing is yes or no based on the one-to-one -one compatibility. But this opens up many doors. One of the doors, it seems, is security patches undertaken quite differently from Red Hat. Jonathan Wright, infrastructure team lead at Alma Linux and Fedora package maintainer, recently posted about his experience submitting a pull request based on an existing CVE as a vulnerability to CentOS Stream. So the senior software engineer at Red Hat replied in GitLab that Red Hat didn't plan to address it, but we will keep it open for evaluation based on customer feedback. On further querying by Wright, Rupert replied that the vulnerabilities with low or moderate severity are addressed on demand when customer or other business requirement exists to do so. So, of course, what this means is that a bug fix for a lower level CVE was submitted and Red Hat said, Pah, we don't care about that. No one's complaining about it. 
So you can kind of see where the bug for bug compatibility is kind of a problem. Whereas Alma can patch that and stay above the priority. Now this isn't like animosity. This is just, hey, they're doing things on a different priority. But what I find very fascinating is that they're sitting here saying, these, these leeches don't support anything. That's exactly what has in, been in Red Hat's marketing. They have been trying to bash Alma Linux and Rocky Linux and other one for one bug compatibilities, declaring that they're just the leeches doing nothing. The reality is all of these projects are all submitting bugs back up. They are all contributing to the code every one of them so it really shows the corporatism coming out in red hat's messaging i'm not saying it's the red hat programmers that are doing that i'm saying it is the the necessary body of big business that is getting in the way and saying we have to justify our cause against the evidence of the facts so what we see here almost supporting bug fixes that are considered low priority for Red Hat, that Red Hat simply does not have the resources to prioritize, but Alma did, submitted it, and they said, ah, we don't care. And that is the problematic part. That is where Alma's direction in many ways is good, and that it's going to make sure that it works on all the applications, but it's not necessarily going to uh, follow forth all of the bugs, which could also introduce some other issues. And so with that being said, Alma Linux is taking a little bit of a different approach, which will diverge it a little bit, but will still give us another alternative. So what you might find on the positive is if Red Hat decides that, um, or, or um, Red Hat or Rocky Linux being one-to-one, -one, if there's some bug that Alma has patched, Alma might work for your application in a situation where, where Red Hat or Rocky may fail. But it could also get to the point where the changes are kind of problematic in that uh, you might see a case where, uh, where they diverge too much that some packages you would expect to work may not. So I don't know what's going to happen down the road, but it'll be interesting to see. So with that, we're going to go ahead and uh, leave this video here. Uh, so this article here is about uh, what Alma Linux is doing, changing from one to one clone to a binary code compatible clone. And uh, with that, thank you for watching and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.